and David started the revival calling me. Once in 1992. Hola, Nino Baraka, Tolazo Street, 190209096. I'm Sam with you. One ninety twenty nine twenty nine. I'm only that regret to enter. One seven zero two zero four zero four six. I don't regret any. One nine zero two zero nine zero two four. I can add you and add you again. Nine one ninety twenty nine one five nine. One ninety twenty nine thousand four. I didn't get it. I did a little bit of one nine zero, two nine zero, two nine zero. Wait, can I do the action? One nine zero, two nine zero. Do you call a duty? One nine zero, two nine one five. You have to do something. One nine zero, two nine one five. I don't want to do it. One nine zero. Show me your idea for 19, 20, 19, 20. I was talking about administration. Administration is really important. What is administration? Administration does not have a universal definition. There's no general acceptable. There's no general acceptable definition of administration. Administration can simply be described or defined as the directing controlling of activity. Administ what is administration in local government? Administration in local government involves the day-to-day running of activities in the local government. Which Involved in the way, the, the way others are carried out and which policies are being implemented. I will be talking about, about, the, about this, the chain of administration in the government. We have the top to bottom administration, we have, and we have the bottom to top administration. What is top to bottom, top to bottom administration? Top to bottom administration, invo top to bottom administration involves others or policies which are brought out by the executive arm, the top rank. Of focus in group government, then down to the lower rank of focus in group government. What, what bottom to top? Bottom to top administration involves policies which are brought out from the lower rank to the top rank in group government. We also be talking about the hierarchy, hierarchy in group government administration. You have the head of group government administration. Then you have also have the deputy head of group government administration. Then we have the secretary to group government administration. After the secretary group government administration, we have the supervisors. After the supervisors, we have the board of directors. Who is the head of group government? Head of group government administration. It can also be referred. It can also be referred to as the chairman of chairman and the head of the of the group government. We also have the deputy. Who is the vice? Who is the second in command to the, to the head of group government administration? Secretary secretary of group government administration. The secretary is directly responsible to the head of group government administration. I also have the supervisors who who head different different units. In the local government, and we also have the board of directors who are also directly responsible, responsible, responsible to the chairman, to the vice chairman, to the secretary, and also to the supervisors. We also have sources of income in the local government administration. Number one, we have allocation for the federal government. The local government yearly, annually, or monthly collects some annual due from the federal government. We also have allocation from the state government. The local government generally they generally generate their income and funds from the federal or state government. The federal or state government funds fund the local government administration. And another way in which the local government generates gener generate funds is tasks. The local government generates tasks from, from people who decide the local government. For example, we have tasks, tasks, on, tasks from the market, tasks on water supply, and tasks on individual, individuals. Finally, I'm talking about the problem affecting the government administration. The first problem affecting the, uh, affecting the government administration is lack of autonomy. Lack of autonomy is the major problem affecting the local government. The local governments are not free, are not free to, to work on their own. They, they, they have to rely on the federal government or state government before they get funds to run, to run their, to their basic needs and their necessary duties. We also, we also have shortage of personnel, personnel and funds. There are no adequate personnel or there are no adequate personnel in the local government which, which, which causes issues in the local government. Mm. Finally, the local people. In conclusion, the, for the local government administration to run smoothly, 
put in the new government administration needed to be granted to the uh, local government autonomy in order for them to, be, to run smoothly. The government should ensure to ensure to fund the local government with adequate personnel and funds and to also invest in the local government and also invest in necessary social amenities and projects in the local government. My name is Adia Mistela from the Department of Political Science, 1905030 I'll be talking about road network and street administration on, in Akoko Northeast. Before I go into the main topic, I would like to discuss the meaning of road network and street administration. Road network can be defined as a system of interconnecting lines and pointing on a map that visualizes a system of streets for a certain area. It always comes with analysis or can be referred to the interconnection between roads where one can study best route for travelers and the most ideal place in building service area, e.g. gas line station. It's widely recognized that road network is a key to inducive economic growth. This role has reflected in the sustainable development of 2013. We set targets for improving the ability and access transportation and for developing the quality, safety and resilience of road, bridge and infrastructure. There are three types of road majorly. We have truck A, the federal road, truck B, the state road and truck C, the district road. On the other hand, street administration refers to the controlling and managing the affair of state to achieve economic growth and development. It is very important to know that the various ways of managing affairs of the streets in Nigeria goes to the tier, government, uh, tier, tier of government called local government. They have been given the legal right to manage the affairs of state and for it to develop, for it to develop and to have a higher way and improve from a rural area to an urban area. Now I'll be going into the topic. I will go into the topic, the street administration in the road network and street administration in Akoko North East. When during this research, we went to Ikare and interviewed some people in different streets to know how the local government has contributed so far in the community. We went to a street called in in our in there we meet Mr. Alabi, who has been living in that street for a very long period of time. And during our quest, he made us understand that the road has been in a bad condition for some, some years back. And the local government did not do anything about it. Until he said, a man called BT, a man called BTO, Olubumi Olatuji Ojo, who is a member of House of Representatives, who always sponsor the community in financial situations for road construction and he, he furthermore said that the he apologized for the inefficiency of the local government towards the community we also visit other streets like ilepa road where we met mrs aminat and interviewed her and she said their own their their road practically is in a bad condition and this road has been like that for the past 12 years which nothing has been done to it they have Complained severely to the local government. We also went to another street called Ilepa Street. Here we interviewed Mrs. Aminat, who said the road has been in a bad condition for about 12 years. 12 years, and the local government has done nothing to help them. And they've complained severely, but yet all to no avail. And it, she said that the people in the community have tried their best in maintaining the road by filling the potholes with sand and stone. But that could not take them for a long period of time since it is unprofessional work that is done there. So the road presently as we speak is in a bad state. Here is a picture. We also visit the market. There we meet Mr. Omo Sunday, the chairman of the motor park, Mr. Israel, the a, a road, road safety official, and the chief in council of Ikare Palace. 
and they all in conclusion say that the current market in some years back as well has been in a bad condition the road in the market has been in a bad condition in which caused frequent accidents to occur and there has been so much record of accidents in Ikare road before until the federal fed, federal government made the road to a dual lane for easy 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 way for them to do their market and for easy traveling and ever since then this has been more easier and the rate of accident has reduced and more to them those market women said that it is more easier for them to display their market without any fee and there has been more people patronizing because of the safety and the way it is easier for them to pass down the road and they furthermore said the only thing they need in the Ikare road is that they want boards along the road signs along the road and as well toilets in the market but based on the road construction they said the federal government has done their best for them and they are really appreciated for it and we we as a group we think that why is it that for every interview that we did no single person has said the local government did this or did that for them so we furthermore went to the local government to question them here we met Mr. Wale and we interviewed Mr. Wale and Mr. Wale let us know that the local government are trying their best. It is impossible for them to reach every place in the local government but they are trying their best according to the budget and how much they are receiving on their own basis. That There is not enough fund to carry out the complaints of the people. That if there is enough fund that all the people's complaints will be attended to. That those roads, there are so many roads that they that that they attended to Good. and they tried their best in fulfilling some road activities for example a road in ube the federal uh, minister wali made us that the local government also just did a construction there and it is for the safety of the people it also mentioned that the most priority of the local government is to ensure the safety of the citizen in conclusion i would like to talk about how we can solve this issue of people lamenting and the local government added to them. We will plead with our federal government and state government to, to, to put more effort in giving those giving the local government what they need, the fund they need to carry out those as uh, those expenditures. And also on the road, the, the local government should put more effort in visiting and maintaining those roads. Ajilo Damila is Solomon, Political Science, 1905031. Back on July Monday, Political Science Education, 1902091. Olaja IP is David, Department of Public Administration, 1906042. Akoni Emmanuel, Oluwa Tobi, Department of Public Administration, 1906042. Aladdin Bukayo de Benga, Department of Public Administration, 1960-40-39. Munyolo Adeshui, Public Administration Department, 1960-40-55. Adu Babatunde Emanuel, Public Administration, 16-06-04-010. Olani Dufik Dairo, Public Science Department, 1950-30-63. Dairo Idowo Gebre. Political Science Department, 119, 15, 13, 13. Motor Omolade Florence, Political Science Department, 1905 I am Wale Ayun Department of Political Science, 1905031070. Polade Richard, Department of Public Administration. 1906040053. Here are following short comments of political science. 1950 3027. Yes. I had to go. What? I have Department of Political Science Education. 1902090051. Benny Drake's bed. Department of Political Science. 1905030001. Yeah, Mole Vivian, Political Science Education, 1902090860. Although Momo Balaji, Janet, 
Please decide that question. One nine zero two nine one two six. After carrying my signals, allow me the Department of Public Administration. One nine zero three zero four zero seven six. To Omolade Florence, Political Science Department. One nine zero five zero three zero nine nine. I really hope you are going to get the justice, political science education, 190-209-108. My name is Dr. Ashe Fumi Emanuel, magic number 190-209-190. My name is Akili Ogo Bortamilota. My magic number is 190-503053. I'm Dr. Jomola Sulaiman, science education. Jammer is 970 154 GJ. Don't worry, my number is 190 We will only be precious. 190 50 My name is and also we're about to talk about the topic in two years. Question. Local resources for national development focus on waterfall. So according to our research, um, we when we um, so before I proceed, I would like to talk about the relationship between the local government and the state government according to the vice chairman speech. So he said the relationship between the local government and the state government is okay and but the local government now have the food autonomy over an allocated revenue. So the from the allocated revenue from the federal government, they have to make the allocation revenue to the joint board. So the local government and the state government they are going to come together and decide about how they are going to it helps to attract international tourists which help to go to development in the communications with other countries and also it has a bit in economic development so in which in which a way to reduce the burden of the natural of the national level so now i will also have to talk about the problem facing the maintenance of waterfall firstly i would like to talk about there's no waterfall in the north west but according to the study that waterfall is a natural endowment with good function and aesthetic value. Waterfall increases the livelihood and also creates space for tourist attractions from other neighboring area, states, or country. Now, it also helps in economical development as well and hasten the urbanizations of the particular area the waterfall is being located. So, I will have to talk now about the contributions. To national the contributions of water, water for some national development. It's, I would mean, like to talk about the problem facing the maintenance of the water flow. Firstly, I would like to talk about the neg negligence of the government towards the maintenance of the water flow, which is going to allow people to run away from that particular spot the water flow is being look, um, located. Because there is no proper care or treatment to the waterfall and also lack of good amenities or like e.g. good road, electricity and all that. So now I would also like to talk about the way or process or now this issue or problems can be solved. So the government should try as much as possible to give a total attention so the local government and the state government will have to come together and discuss about how the revenues are going to get to the necessary area. So before they can do that, they will need the they will need the presence of the state Akatan general. So now I'm going to I'm going to talk about the significance of waterfall in the particular area. Firstly, there's no waterfall in Akoko North. Way. So the ideas of people's towards maintenance of waterfall so now i would like to talk about how the people feel about the maintenance of the waterfall or how people should maintain the waterfall because it gives room for comfort and 
visit us to visit the particular area to enhance the interest of staying and attract more business owners, which will also aid the organization of the particular state area, community, village, or town. So, these are the little researches we can generate from the topics given to us at the local government. Thank you, sir. Adola Timida, your Francis, matric number 1906040388, Department of Public Administration. Polusia Gufete, Patricia, matric number 1906040488, Public Administration Department. Lawa Ridiglo Nuru Atosi, 1902090090, Political Science Education. Ashi or Lawale and Uruapo, 190-209-189, Political Science Education. Adi Jumo Zainov, Adi Dolapo, Matric Number 19-06-04-006, Public Administration. Akina Wotolu Lokwe Ulu Adami Lola, Matric Number 190 Public Administration Department. Pirushola Anna Ayomide, Matric Number 19-06-04-023, Public Administration. Amatrojikendi Pirushola, Matric Number 190-20-91-3, Department of Political Science Education. Tobenda Timothy Uben, Matric Number 190 209137 Department of Political Science Education Sunday Roti Maria Matric number 1906040007 Public Administration Department Akinto Kumavelas Matric number 1902091222 Political Science Education Department Lab in Tong Abiodun Solomon, matric number 190 50 30 46, political science department. Odebo Odebo Johnson, Frank 1702 71, political science education. Jalam Samson, IODG, matric number 190 503. 018 Political Science Department. Obey Blessing, you are doing magic number 19 Public Administration. Police Ola Ola Wale, Matric number. My name is Akitoku Mavelos, and we present uh, uh, Group 11 uh, <coughs> on the work local government. So our research is based on the people of Okabe local government. According to our presentation to the chairman of the local government and the person of uh, Honorable Ayodele Akande and uh, his um, directors of finance, as well as Pastor uh, Abraham Olayemi, one of the indigenous of uh, Okabe local government area, and some other indigenous. So it was declared to us that. Uh, Okabe local government, according to the chairman, uh, Okabe local government was uh, consisted of uh, 27 obas and 70 kings. And according to Pastor Abraham Olayemi, so the evolution of the people, Okabe local government, according to him, were warrior from the inception. They were a warrior from the inception, and the Okagbe was founded with war. According to him, there were uh, four lineages that came together and formed Okagbe local government. Now, on the security ism, the security ism of the people, according to the uh, local government, 
chairman and Pastor Abraham Olayemi, as well as a police officer at IGD, when we visited uh, the police station, they all attested uh, to the fact that the local government area now be enjoying peace uh, since the creation of Amatekun Corps. In the speech of Mr. Chairman, he said, I quote, kudos to uh, our Queen Governor Rotimi Akredolu on the creation of Amatekun Corps to, to buttress uh, the points on security given to, uh, to us by Mr. Chairman. And Pastor Abraham Olayemi also said, the local government area and its people now be enjoying perfect peace. Uh, I move on to infrastructural development in the local government. Uh, our, on our visit to the local government chairman, he made us make it known to us, made it known to us uh, that uh, since uh, he came on board, we have been able to uh, do a lot of infrastructure. He had improved uh, the little infrastructure he meant on ground. The issue of the school, the issue of health center, the issue of street lights, street lights, and the issue of road construction. So he told us that he had done well in these areas. <laughs> now, on our visit to health center, so the medical pensioner we met there, uh, make it known to us that the local government had done nothing, that the door is bad, there is no ejection, there is no drug, nothing, nothing. In her speech, I quote, the local government has done nothing yet. The patients that spent nights in this hospital always afraid because some dangerous animal normally sneak in normally sneak in to test terrify the patients and we are not secure in this hospital meaning that it's only a decoration and never a reflection of what Ezeta is so he made his uh, concern clear to us about the issue of a center. Now, the ENSETA, according to the medical personnel we met at the ENSETA, said that the ENSETA was even built by the community and not the local government. And more for that to tell us uh, what the alleged of Algidi Akoko uh, to, told us that the local government uh, is not actually a uh, them uh, that there's no money grants, there's nothing, nothing from the local governments at all. In fact, even the union of security she said that the community hire vigilantes who are paid directly by the community. So, in the issue of road construction, we said that the road, the road, uh, the road is very bad. It has a very bad road. And we can attest to this fact by ourselves. We see meeting, we started meeting that the road uh, is very bad. It's not good. She also told us about the issue of dust collection that uh, the government only came to the market and collect housing from them and they even increase uh, the tax rates, tax rates collected from them. They uh, have the visitation to uh, some schools to actually fortify to address the points in the school. Uh, it was also made known to us by one of the indigenous who we interviewed uh, with that in the school. It's okay that the government is actually doing their best to make sure that the school is, is, is well structured and it's good for 
Chindwe to attend. Again, uh, the local government in Germany has also said that they are actually paying uh, when we paid a visit to those schools, it was also uh, testified by the staffs we met in there that indeed the local government are doing well. With the matriculation number 1902090060 from the Department of Political Science and Education 211. My name is Adesonia Adetosu. The matriculation number 1902090093, a student of Political Science Education. My name is Augustine Taiwoyadisi. Matriculation number 1902009144. Political Science Education. My name is Boyo Solomon Toreshadu, Political Science student with the matriculation number 190-209-034. Thank you. My name is Ibikuni Faidat Odraya, Political Science Education, matriculation number 1902090. Okay, Vladimir Juma, matriculation number 1902040015, public administration. My name is Sobotina Yozashe from Dominic from Market 1906040036 Public Administration. My name is Sobotina Yozashe from Matric number 1902091113 Political Science Education 200. My name is Trisha Bright Spikayo with the Matric number 190. Mm -hmm. 209 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the Department of Political Science Education. My name is Obundari Oluwafu Nilayo, Matric number 1905030075, Political Science. What are you? What are you? 1902019. Go. My name is Zain Toib Okoyemi, Matric number 1902091181, Political Science Education. Precious thing to point from the Department of Political Science and Education 200 level. A clean environment is essential for human health and well being. At the same time, the local government can also be a source of stressors, for example, air pollution, noise, hazardous chemicals that negatively affect health. At a broader level, climate change, less of, less of biodiversity, and large degradation can also impact on human well being by threatening the delivery of ecosystem services which has says which has access to fresh water and food production during our research on health and environment we carried out our research on the 14th of december 2022 at akoko southwest local government which okioka is their headquarters during our research we went to iwaro iwaroka market for questions about their environment and how the environment have been kept on getting to the market, we're able to meet Mr. Joel, who is a revenue collector. We asked him about the questions and we were told that the villagers and the market women, what they are being used for. And the man made us to understand that the revenue they are collecting are used for the people as well. The people are also seeing the impact of the money they are collecting from there. Proceeding on our research, we went to the market and asked the market women. We met one or two of them and they made us to understand that they are not seeing the impact of the local government in their markets and in their environment too. So they made us understand the sanitary laborers have not been coming around to help in cleaning the environment lately because they told them the, their vehicles are faulty. Based on our research, we came to a conclusion that the, the sanitary laborers have not been working for the past six months now with the excuse that their vehicles are faulty and they are collecting tax and the revenue regularly from the villagers. On proceeding on our research, we went to the health center. But unfortunately, when we got there, we were unable to meet the doctors and the nurses. We were told they went to Okioka for health seminar and the hospital 
I mean the clinic was left open, wide open. When we got there, we entered the clinic and we saw bags of rice in their walls, which means they've not been functioning very well. Everywhere it is dusty and tattered, not well put. Proceeding with that, we went to another health center, primary health care center at Owake. We went, when we got there, the nurses and doctors too went for seminar to Becca, but we were able to meet people who were able to attend there to us. And we were told that a major problem in the local government, in the area where Okakoko is malaria, and they've been battling with malaria because the most recent cases are malaria and typhoid. And they've been working hard to reduce the rates at which people are having malaria are used for the people as well. The people are also seeing the impact of the money they are collecting from them. Proceeding on our research, we went to the market and asked the market women. We met one or two of them and they made us to understand that they are not seeing the impact of the local government in their markets and in their environment too. So they made us understand the sanitary laborers have not been coming around to help in cleaning the environment lately because they told them the their vehicles are faulty in the primary health care center at Okaudu. When we got there, unfortunately, the nurses and doctors were not around to attend to us. We were told they went for seminar at Okioka. And the clinic was wide open, so we went inside to see what was going on there. And when we got there, the clinic was empty, dusty, and unkept. There were beans, bags of beans in their wards, and at the back was cassava farm. So proceeding on our journey, we went to another primary health care center, Owake, at Iwaroka. When we got there, the nurses and doctors were not around to attend to us too. But we were fortunate to meet some people, some workers there that attended to us. And they made us know that one of the problems that the community is facing about their health is malaria and the government is helping a lot in reducing the rate of malaria in the community by sharing of mosquito nets and vaccines to the villagers. We further on our research and went to the local government headquarters at Okioka for further clarification on health issues. On getting there, the local government, the, the local government chairman Vice Chairman and Secretary was not allowed to attend to us and we waited for about three hours before the Director of Administration in person of Chief Olu Midekutelu attended to us and he made us understand that the local government is consists of six towns and villages and we have Okioka as headquarter of Akoko Southwest. We have Iwaroka, Shukbare, Oba, Iku, Akuba, Koko and villages. The issue of markets, the local government oversees the market to collect rates of about 15 naira to 100 naira for market days. And it is the function of the local government to clean the market and the environment. And they, have, and they have the sanitary laborers who are doing that regularly. There is record and facts to back them up. And the security, the town is calm and there are no issues affecting the security because the local government owes me to the security officers every night. Yes, my name is Precious. Can you talk about the <laughs> name? Raji Akim, nineteen o two o nine one six eight, Department of Political Science Education. Abuola Bukola O two zero zero five zero three four one seven, Political Science. I can allow me to tell one my girlfriend, 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 Political Science major. Political science education. I think that I'm going to be a lot of people.
Um, by the virtue of nomenclature, I am Akileton Philip Dutu from the Department of Political Science and I'm here to represent Team Exclusive on our research topic, Oban, the reality of urbanization in Bukit Boka. Uh, the objective of our study is to assess the role of local government in endangering sustainable urban governance in Nigeria. And the study impacts on an explore, exp, exploratory research to Okioka. And having said that, it is important to clarify some concepts such as what is urbanization and the features of urbanization. To start with, what is urbanization? Urbanization is the population shift from a rural to urban area. In other words, it is the decrease in the proportion of those living in the rural area. So also it is the way in which the society adapts to changes economically, socially, politically, uh, in order to create a sustainable environment for people living in it. The phenomenon has been closely linked with modernization, industrialization, and socialization process for rationalization. Uh, it is a process whereby a nation moves from a remote stage or from a traditional stage to the level of high mass consumption. That is according to W.W. W. Rostos, uh, stages of growth. Um, furthermore, the features or the peculiarities of urbanization, uh, modernization, in, and industrialization Modernization in the sense uh, that from the indu in induction for of W.W. Rostow's uh, stages of growth, he, in his theory, he proposed that for a nation to achieve the uh, growth stage, they must embark on uh, five stages. That is from the traditional stage to the level of high mass consumption. And that is all about modernity. And also industrialization is a process whereby uh, a country or a nation moves from uh, or grows from uh, grow up from a socially and economically stage from a pre-industrialized stage to the stage of industrial uh, nation. So having said that, it is also important to note that one of the issues in the 21st century is the issue of urbanization. What do I mean by that? Uh, every national government seeks to attend to the welfare of their citizens. And by the reason of this, uh, most especially in, in, in a nation or in a country that is heterogeneous in nature, Syria, the local government is set up by an act of parliament in 1976. And it constitutionally, constitutionally has some um, roles, some responsibilities, some functions to carry out, such as collection of rates, establishment of markets, construction of roads, um, and so on and so forth, among all, provision of home for the destitute, so on and so forth, among others. Those are the functions or the roles of local government to be played in a society. Now, having said that, let us quickly embark on a short or a brief history of Okioka. Now, Okioka is one of the towns in Akuku Southwest uh, in Ondo State. Okioka happens to be the headquarters of the local government in Akoko Southwest. Uh, under it, there are eight towns. There are eight towns, Akumba, Ikun, Oba, Etiolu, uh, Ayegule, and so on and so forth. Among others, there are eight towns under the local government. And the local government is headed by uh, an elected uh, 
chairman he is the executive head of the local government and uh, in Okioka uh, the organogram of the local government is divided into two that is the executive slash the politicians and also the workers in the local government so having said that let us quickly go on to the research findings as to how urbanization or as to how uh, the growth of urbanization in Okioka. So doing our research we tour around the town which is Okioka and uh, we induced some factors from uh, the local government. We embark on a tour to, the, to a school called African Church Grammar School. We went to the market, we explored the road and so on and so forth. And to start with, I would love to start with the school. Now, uh, in a bid to build a, a sustainable environment and an effective leadership, it is expedient that uh, leadership is raised from the primary level up to the tertiary level. And it is also one of the sole function and responsibility of the local government to sort out uh, and to uh, give trainings to the people in the elementary schools. It is one of their responsibilities because charity begins at home, they say. So uh, also, uh, in our visitation to the school, we found out that, that uh, uh, during our talk with one of their VPs, so we found out that the local government has no um, relative contribution to the local government, which is one of the defects of the local government in that area. So also we explore the market and we saw that uh, even though it is the function of the local government to provide markets for the people, to establish markets uh, in Okioka, there was no establishment of market. The market we visited was actually established by the former regime of uh, Governor Mimiko, who was the one that uh, established that market. And it is made known to us that uh, the local government officials will do come there often to take, uh, to collect rates from them and without doing anything to improve the markets, despite the fact that there are three markets there. The, the name of the particular market we visited is, is a jockey market. And uh, during our interview with one of uh, 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 the people in the market, uh, he made known to us that uh, the local government has done relatively nothing to improve the market. And to also induce from the market the issue of waste collection, uh, the local government has been the defect in the issue of waste collection in the local government or in the, in the town, in the Kyoka town. In the sense that uh, the people in the market do burn the refuse inside the market as there were no places and there were no government, uh, local governmental officials to take the refuses from them and to get them burnt. So they have no choice, they are left with no choice than to burn those refuses in the market. Also, on our way, uh, Concerning the road construction, uh, the road is not too far from good actually because we still have some potholes and one of the main issues with the road is that the road needs to be dualized so as to uh, uh, get away from accident and stamping and so on and so forth. And having said that, it is also important to state that we also notice that there are little or no infrastructures in the local or in the town, in the local town. Uh, we saw some different pipe bomb waters. Maybe they are just there for the purpose of electoral campaign, but they are different. They are not working. So we, they are there and they are not well constructed buildings. There are no industries. So uh, it is very conclusive to say that uh, there is no nothing like urbanization in the serve as uh, a impetus or serve as an impetus to the local government officials that they need to take note of all these things and lately we deal with them which will motivate and give impetus for urbanization in Okeka.
Thank you very much once again. My name is Akato Philip Dutu from the Department of Political Science. How many emails do you have? Matrix number 190 211 political science. I'm Ogundi Joy Bukun David with the matric number 190-209-166. Department of Political Science and Education, 211. I am Ani Amiri Rofe with the matric number 190-209-115 from the Department of Political Science and Education, 211. The bio on our Raju Michael from the Department of Public Administration, matric number 190 60 40 64 200. I'm um, Ochakura Key, I'm matric number 190 from the Department of Public Administration, 200. My name is Dindario Eric Ike, matric number 190 60 from the Department of Public Administration, 200. I'm 196040 40 from the Department of Public Administration, 211. I'm Asabula Blessing Olanika with the match number 196040 80 211 from the Department of Public Administration. I'm Adi John Samson, Political Science, match number 19050 3096 211. Hola, Mr. Gloria, I'll say me. 190 60 40 50 public administration 200 level. I'm Olaf Jamaica, Ulua Tumishi, for the summit of your political science, March number 190 50 30 52. I'm Olaf Victoria, Matic number 190 20 9026, from political science education 200 level. Johnson Elijah McKay, film 190 0 315, political science 200 level. A friendly follow up fix. Public Administration 190 60 40 29 211. I am Nese Favor Gitz with the matric number 190209161, Department Political Science Education, level 200. I am Nese Favor Gitz with the matric number 180050, Department Political Science and 211. My name is Orin Nese Favor Gitz with the matric number 190916. From the Department of Political Science Education. Yeah, I'm presenting the group Elite. Uh, our research was about markets. We went to different markets in Akupo Southwest. In Akumba, precisely, we have three markets here. We have the Kusa, we have the Baka, and we have the Ojaoba. We went to the Baka market whereby we interviewed some market women, whereby they, 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 they told us about how they pay their tax and revenue, the amount in which they pay. Most of the market women, they say they are not satisfied with the local government. And the local government is not doing anything in the market. Let's take Akumba market, that's the Baka market for, for an instance. Looking at the market structure, we can say the market is not situated in a place that is safe. Because bike men or car that they do pass through that place. People live around there. And even cars at times, they pass through that market, which is not even big enough. And the market women said they said they usually pay some amount to the local government every market day. I think they said it was 20 naira earlier, but now it is 15 naira. And still they don't know what the go local government is using their money for. And they were like complaining and saying the market is not that convenient. It's just that they have to what make ends meet. They have to make what daily what money to be able to what feed their families. In that same market, we went to the, a particular makeover shop. Makeover. She was talking about where her shop is situated at, when she wanted to get her shop. She, I think she got it from the landlord or so of that particular place. And she was talking about um, they do pay 4,000 naira every month. And she said even the 4,000 naira they pay every month, it is not convenient because at times, a kind of work is seasonal work. Maybe maybe during Christmas, during um, anniversaries, and so that's when they get work. It's not an everyday work. And the local government, they don't even look at that. They just collect money. And you say, what is even like, what's, what is even paying now? is like, even if they collect that money and they are using it to do something for them, it will be of good. But they are not using it for anything. They just collect it from them. From them. And they don't even know where their money is. They just they pay this particular amount every month. And when for that to ask her that, where she is now? Does she like the, uh, the place her shop is situated? And she was like, she likes it like that because that is where she can afford. That is why she's there. That if God provides more, she will move further. From there, we went to the Okusa, whereby we viewed the Yalodja. We interviewed the Yalodja, where she was talking about markets. She was talking about um, the drainage in the market. Said they have complained 
to the local government to help them out with public toilets and so on like that. Moving further, we went to the Ayekpe market. The Ayekpe market is a very small market. But by different commodities, different goods and services are not really like found there. We can't get close there. It is just it's maybe tomatoes, pepper and fish, little little things, plantains and so on like that. From there, we proceeded to the local government, to the local government office. That is where we went to. And we, we interviewed the accountant. We had to interview the chairman. It was like he has, he has been exhausted for the day because he has talked with so many other people like that. And he took us to the accountant. And the accountant is like, he's the kind of person that will be able to tell us more about the market. And then from there, the accountant talked about how the system is, is being, how it is being run. He talked about 48% going to the federal government. He talked about 26% going to the state. Why the local government is having, what, 22%? And he said the 22% is not enough for them. Because collecting 22% is nothing because they have to do other things. And he was like, if the thing can change, whereby the local government gets more than that 22%, they will be able to use the money wisely. That they will not spend it on something. They will be able to do, create more infrastructures because we interrogated him by saying, Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. If you are to be collecting a small percentage, what are you going to use the money for? And he was looking at everything he said. He was true with it. He was like, they are going to create infrastructures, build infrastructures, and so on like that. He said, but the twenty-two percent coming into the local government, it is not something that is enough. He said, the way they even generate income, they generate income from maybe birth certificates, driving uh, driving license, and a uh, working permit in the market. And the working permit they collect is not twenty naira or so. He said, it is not enough. So maybe for that coming from the local government, we also go, we also went to the Iwaro market, whereby markets were made complain. They said they do pay so so amount, and even the toilets in the market are not functioning. The gates there are not they are not protective enough. That even robbery, robbery takes place in the market. That even their goods at times are not in a safe position, even when there is gates there. Let's move further back again to the Ayepe market. Remember, I said during the daylight, robbery takes place. Remember, there's still goods. You cannot leave your goods and come back within two minutes. That's been what? Taken away. So, looking at the situation of the Mac Akoko Southwest market, we cannot say the market women are happy. We can't say that because they gave so many complaints about what? Security issues, the drainage, they say never rain falls, erosion, flood goes through the market and they are not satisfied whereby they pay revenue every day, every market day. And they're not getting anything from the local government. So we can say the markets, the market women and the market women, they are not satisfied with what the local government is, say, is doing. So the local government defended themselves by saying what? The percentage going into the local government, it is not enough for them to what? To create amenities. To create amenities. So, representing, once again, I am favor gifts, representing group elites. Markets research. Thank you. I did buy your notebook at all. number two hundred sixty forty one twenty. Public administration. I did only one day ratio. Matric number one nine zero two zero nine zero zero one. Post Eddie. Okay, one new law from Kelly's books. Matric number 1906 Public administration. Hola, de lo rayo mi amolaya. Matric number 260-4112. Public administration. Smart David Pankole, 190-604-004. 211 public administration students. Adit Suya, you need to know a fair one. Matric number 192090174. Political science education. Thank you very much, Madam Lola. Matric number 190204066. Public administration. I'm going to have to start a job on the matric number 192090. Political science education. Aga Glory, Betuku Matric number 19020907, Political Science Education. Billy Uluwato Fumi Mary, Matric number 19029105, Political Science Education. Frank Josephine Ifri, Matric number 19022016, Educational Management. Um, Matthew, I'm from Kenya. I'm a PG. Matric number one nine 
My name is Ophili Chine, a student of Adekunle Ajashi University, presenting the topic People under Post 208 Local Government and Urbanization. Lecturer, lecturer in charge, Dr. Bayo. I'll be talking on the definition of people, the types of people, who is called a people, the roles of people in the society. Then I'll be moving to the brief, the summary of the interview conducted on the people of Ikare land and the recommendation of, to the local government. Definition of people. People are seen as human beings in general or considered as collect, considered collectively. People are also seen as members of a community, nation, or an ethnic group with common, with common interests. Who is called a people? A people is, are those people in the ordinary people in the community who have no power or privileges. Types of people, we have the extrovert, extroversion people, the agreeableness people, the openness people, those who want to win, those who want to live a comfortable life, those who want to be like. Roles of people in the society, they have the social responsibility. That is, they have to participate in the social meetings and activities of the community. We have the religious responsibility. That is, they have to have cordial relationship with their religious leader. We have the financial responsibility. That is, having having working together to, to be able to have financial stability and get what they want. We have political responsibility, that is choosing the right leader for the country and also paying their tax. And also paying their tax. We have about, about a brief history about Akoko Northeast. Akoko Northeast is located in Ondo State in the southwest of Nigeria. It, is, it, is, it has its headquarters in it has its headquarters in Ikare and has other towns under Akoko Northeast. It has major of the people in Akoko Northeast are Yoruba. The economic activities of Akoko Northeast people are mostly agriculture, which whereby they produce large quantities of cocoa and yam, and other major activities are poultry and trading. A summary of the interview conducted on the people. We conducted a brief interview on the people to know a, to know more detailed information with the things happening in, in the in Akoko Northeast, to know the relationship with between the people and the local government. We interviewed a primary school teacher, two bike men, two market women, a woman working in the area of the local government. We interviewed the DPO of Ikare. And we also interviewed the local government head of community. A brief summary of the primary school interview. We said we interviewed a teacher who told us that they don't have adequate teachers, they don't have good toilets, and they don't have first aid kits. We also interviewed a bike man who told us that they are paying a certain amount for taxes every day from January to December, and it's not comfortable for them. And the government is not using it to do anything. They also complained about the lack of good roads in the streets and also in the community. We also interviewed two market women who said they pay taxes every every year, once a year, and they also don't have a proper place to drop their waste bin. They have to tell a madman to help them take it to the necessary dump to drop it for them. We also, she also complained of not having good water system. That there is no power, um, there is no borrow water, and it is not done by the local government. That most of the waters here are done by BTO in person. We are, they also complained about them paying money for using the toilets. We also moved into into interviewing a woman who told us that 
there have not been any improvement in the health cell health care center in Akoko Northeast local government. But in the educational se sector, they have been able to renovate some schools and do some a little bit of improvement in the educational sector. She also complained about the flood in the area, making sure that there are, most of the gutters in Akoko Northeast are filled with dump because there's no place to dump the dirty. So they rather pour it on the gutters. So during rainy season, it, em it ends up causing flood in the community. She also complained about not having good electricity in the community. Then we move over to the DPO who told us that there is no community without there's no community without crime and is able to curb the crime situation by putting his patrol member in designated places in designated places in the community. Then we move over to the community head because the head of local government was not available so we interviewed the community head of the community who told us that everything is well with the community except the fact that the youth are taking hard drugs and there is no they don't have adequate funds that's why they are fighting for autonomy then we move to the recommendation i will, rem I will recommend the local government to have good roads so that there will be easy road networking for the people of the community i will also ask them to have more healthcare centers because they need more facilities in those centers and for schools they should be able to they should be able to employ more staff and improve the facilities by getting them a first aid kit and also giving them proper toilets i will also advise that they also get the health centers the needed facilities they need so they will be able to take care of this of the people well i will also advise them to get more proper waste bin management so they will be able to manage the waste bin of their com community and avoid flood in the community i will also employ them that the taxes that they collect they should be used for the improvement of the community not just for themselves alone in conclusion i will advise the local government because they are the grassroots of the community they should interact with the people because they have to know the people problem so as to be able to have solutions to those problems and have good relationship with the people so that things that these people are complaining of will not come to life again. I hope I've been able to inform you with this. Thank you. My is Global David, 190 My name is Oni Anuashi, 190 one nine zero five zero three double zero three. I'm not going to be able to do that. One nine six one nine zero two zero nine one three six. My brother Daniel, you're double. One nine two nine two twenty forty six. Tayo, she will be nice. One nine zero two zero nine one five nine. Be my name, she'll do one nine zero two zero nine one one six. Our large media be one nine zero two zero nine zero eight seven. My name is Ridu Rokita. She'll be one nine zero two zero nine zero one. My name is Ethiopia Maduro, Patrick Toba, 1902 We're giving the research topic on water supply in Akuku, Southwest, Oka, respectively. When we got to Akuku Luku government, we met with their director of who, who is whose name is Mr. David Udulege. So we went to meet him, we asked a lot of questions. Questions like, what are the challenges they faced? They face in Akuku, Southwest in Oka. So he said, they face the issue of rock. He said, because they have too much of rock in that their area, so it takes them time to dig. Initial commodity booking 190 50 30 44. For the kit on blood, Fred Joshua 190 20 
Alarm for me, Jimmy. Okay, Lenny. 190, 20, 91, 55. How do you buy your tie? I'm going to give you 0028. Bello, Mr. 190503054. I'm ready to do a lot of money. 190, 20, 90, 88. I'm not sure, Gloria. 190503026. Go on, I'm not allowed to say. 190209049. We will have a family. One is your five, your two, your five, six. Oh, by the way, I can one is your two, zero, nine, one, two, seven. I'm up in the lobby for me. One is your twenty, nine, one, fifty six. I love Jim Lash and Lua. One night, fifty two, zero, zero, four. Ugly or Lash and one is your zero, two, zero, nine, one, three, four. Alena, I am the Grace. One is your five, zero, three, zero, eight, six. Had it to roast for the around one nine zero five zero three zero four two. Around we both step near the one nine zero five zero three hundred nine. Would you be too much at the one nine zero five zero three zero six four? By the way, bless you, Nadi, to so one nine zero five zero three one zero two. Representative for group twenty one, Omoto Shogla, Luaye Missing, topic Tawan Gam. In an education system, the relationship between town and gown are those between the residents of the town and the students associated with the school. It boosted both technological and educational development of Nigeria as well. Town refers to the non-academic community, while gown literally refers to the university community. Education is a social phenomenon that does not exist in isolation without the society. Sound education normally starts from the family, which cannot be divided from the society. Every education system is geared towards producing the child for future to enable child to contribute to the development of society. Society needs to desired values and norms to be emphasized on educational system. Hence, there is always a very strong connection between town and gown. Strong relationship has been established between education and society by various scholars such as Reza 2003, Obinaju 2005. Our visitation to the local government in Akoko Southwest, headquarters at Oka. We met Ms. Olu, Ms. We met Osho Olushola, assistant director to the chairman. In which she told us the functions of the local government towards the school and the market and the environment and the community. At Oke Oka, their work is various and touches almost all areas of the day-to-day -day of their life community. Their workforce is highly skilled and focused on improvement. Seeing Oka is a great place to work. They are well positioned to deliver commun community lifestyle choices through successful advocacy and ongoing collaboration partnership with the government. Their functions are diverse and they deliver numerous number of services. However, they remain responsive to the changing needs and expectations within their community. Continue to support and enhance the sustainability and diversity of their community. Examples of their service and functions include infrastructure and prop property service, include local roads and bridge, footpaths, parking facilities, drainage and waste collection, fire and emergency service provision of recreation and cultural facilities such as library, park, sports facility, fields, and lecture centers. However, from there, we are able to visit the police station in which we have been attended by the CSP, Chief Superintendent Police. Fatola Olaleko, which had, who has an NC, who is an NC order in accounting, BLC order in accounting, and also LR in law. He told us the relationship between the police and the state and the community and also the students. A country political culture helps to determine whether the police force are organized nationally or locally. The desire for inventiveness lends itself to establish the centralized police force which can take advantage of coordination and saving in training, organization, and service delivery. However, such force face the problem of the problem in which it summarized as who guide the guidance. In some democratic country, particularly known as the United States, or to a lesser extent, Great Britain, citizens have traditionally believed that the existence of a national police force would concentrate too much on power in its hand and its director. Although we're not being able to conclude our meeting with him because he had an he had an emergency to attend to. So we went straight to the school 
and we we met the students of the school because they were they were actually having a meeting that day so no teacher was able to attend to us then we met with the head prefect in which she told us that education is a natural right entitled to every individual and a critical social and economic development therefore the article of trade in financial position but it varies from other services because it's a community fiction education yield in both private and public sector in terms of learning and higher learning more so and it will also benefit society in a social way whereby a farmer can become more creative through literal skill also a literate woman can be capable of taking care of good of her family health needs lastly an educated individual can exercise the social and political rights as a better citizen therefore it is essential for the government to invest in education so as to yield progressiveness in it and the role of the government the role of the government in education the government can subsidize education in several forms including school fees for low-income parents school fees could be lower in favor of needy parents and students that cannot afford the school fees regardless of the financial status from there we head over to the market where we met with the yaloja which made us know that the local government has not been helping in keeping the market environment clean and also they have been exhorting large amount of money from them without doing any work. She went further by saying erosion has caused a lot of havoc in the road of the market and the people are lamenting that the road had made it hard for them to display their goods. The Aloja also made it known that the damage of the road during the ongoing rainy season, however, has caused a lot of problem to the people. Also, the Oyaloja had given kudos to the state government for the ongoing construction of Ikare Township, Township and some other road projects that has been carried out in parts of the areas. An indigenous and commercial driver who identified himself as Olani Alade described the road as an oil for, moto, for the cars and motto, saying the road are, very, are in a very bad condition which has affected the growth of the areas. Our road is not in a good condition and we are appealing to the government to assist in fixing the road. Our community used to be a good road for transportation, in which is a, is now a result of bad road. We deserve, a gov we deserve government attention in the area of infrastructure, he said. Conclusion The relationship between the education and society in Nigeria is very shabby. These two are supposed to be related, but there is an open mismatch between these two. This actually led to gross unemployment among the youth in Nigeria. Recommendation Efforts should be made to promote the interaction between the town and gang in order to maintain a perfect balance between the local government, school, community, and also the market. Thank you very much. Political Science. Adewoye, Victoria Luada Milola, 19-02-09117. Political Science Education. Aye, Dilimaewa, Imanwe. 190-222-005, Educational Management. Ade Koya Mabelos, Koyimsala, 190-209028, Political Science Education. Mate Ola Olubumi, Ola Jumoke, 190-209-102, Political Science Education. Ajipala Esta, Formula 190-209148, Political Science Education. I can ask Pengasira, 1906220821, Educational Management. Akira in Victor Luani, 1906040, 33, Public Administration. Akira in Victor Luani, 1906040, 33, Public Administration. Public Administration. I did go to Dam Lala Jeremiah 190 Educational Management. I draw for the short degree 190 Political Science Education. The boy you do, I can be Political Science Education. I'm a little bit of 1926409 Public Administration. From um, the Greece, it's in the 190 Educational Management. Aki Jian to be Benjamin, 1906040 Public Administration. 
Good day, everyone. My name is Amida Grace from Adekunle Ajashi University, Hakumba Akoko on the stage. I will be presenting on behalf of Treasure Group on a topic road networking and streets administration, which is the main part or which is part of the local government function, which we are expecting them to carry out as their function. So I would like to give a little definition on the meaning of local government. A local government is a system of electing a representative to be responsible at a particular or geographical area that is there's someone that we can actually communicate with there's someone in a community that we choose as a leader that we choose as someone that can represent us at the state level that can speak for us at the state level that know our demand in the community so without wasting much of our time I would like to proceed on our main topic which is road networking and street administration in terms of road networking Networking from Adekunle Ajashi University main gate down to Iwara Junction and to Chopari Axis, we notice and we discover that the roads are not in good condition. The roads are not, are not in good terms, which can lead to accidents. And also, we also notice that the market they are too close to the road, which when there is cases of accidents, which can take away life. And this and these issues of roads. These issues of road has taken away of many lives and many students in Akumba, Akoko before the construction of the barricades. So now we move to the and also from the sectarians, from the local government sectarians, we also notice from local government sectarians to police station, from police station to the market, from the market to the maternity aid center, we also discover and notice that the roads also are not in good condition and they are not good for easy transportation. What if there is case of emergency which can actually lead and take away life as well? And even the work of the local government, the work of the local government chairman is not in that office it's in the community at large we expected him to go out to the community to note the needs of the people to know the needs of the community to note their demand and take it to the state government state level but the reverse the first is the case the local government shouldn't be someone that we embezzle our money or travel from one country to another as the case it is in as the case it is in Okaakoko and also Akoko Southwest. And also, when you are talking about the street lights, there is no street light in Akoko Southwest also. The electricity, there is nothing like, the electricity is not effective as expected. And also the drainages, we can actually say that drainages is okay. And there are some boreholes, there are boreholes, some, some of it are working while some are not working and their main and the main thing they are good at is they are good in agriculture and also according to our research on health facilities from Mrs. Akin Bumure, it made us to understand that the basic health center normally open on Monday and Thursday, which is not supposed to be. Health, health care service should be 24 hours, not something that will be on a weekly basis or once in a while. What if there is case of emergency? It can actually lead to it can actually lead to death in case of emergency so that means if the earth center if the basic earth center which is the public earth center is not working and there is an emergency and we have to take our patients to the private hospital what if we do not have the money for the private hospital what are we going to do about it and also they talk about we also interrogate with one of the marketers that made us to understand understand that they are, they are still in their there is case of robbing whereby their goods are be uh, uh, their goods is being stolen which is not supposed to be it is the duties of the local government chairman to make sure there is enough security in that society or community not that it is the local it is the local security that will be monitoring their goods or their property for them for them and also as regards to their police station their police station as well we can also see that the dpu is not effective enough as we as based on our research 
from one of the respondents that told us that he is a womanizer and he's been chasing away by the and he's been chasing away by the people of the community and also we can actually sell in Okioka and Koko South whilst they are good in farming and agriculture things. Okumoyo Royal Bami, Matric number 1905030011. Adobe Mala Emmanuel, Matric number 1905030022. Arigidi Tomasefa Flourish, Matric number 1905030061. Motosho Solomon Lion, Matric number 1905030057. Namalatinara Precious, Matric number 1905030388. Ojemo Sandro Adeniola, matric number 19050300. Okocha Amulika Jessica, matric number 19050303. Obala Beatriz Adedalako, matric number 19050303. Omotola Taiwutusi, matric number 19050309. Adeni Bunyolua Tobi Loba Ola Iwade, matric number 1905030049. Akindele, Tori Lope Marvelous, matric number 1905030039. Ola Yawi Jujo Yola Umi, matric number 1905030074. Isok Baolua Kwelu Miklemet, matric number 1905030092. My name is Ojemo Sandra from the Department of Political Science and I'm here representing Group 20 and our topic is local government financial finance and issues. Nigeria, an African country on the Gulf of Guinea, is the most populous black nation on earth. Nigeria operates a system where there are two types of government, namely the federal system, the local government and the state government. Our focus today will mainly be on the finance and the issues affecting the local government in our Coco Northeast local government in those states. Akoko is a Yoruba subcultural country, subcultural group in the northern east in the northeastern part of Yoruba land. Akoko spans from Ondo State to Edo State in the southwest, and it makes up 20.3% of the location of Ondo State. Akoko constitutes four out of the 18 local governments in Ondo State. There are Akoko Northeast, Akoko Northwest, Akoko Southeast, Akoko Southwest. Akoko Northeast is a local government area in Ondo with its headquarters in Ikare town. And Ikare constitutes of 15 districts, namely Okela, Okon, Eshe, etc. According to the 2006 census, Akoko Northeast has a population of 175,409 people. And it is a developing area with numerous banks and commercial firms. Local government is a generic. Malik Moyawa is my 1902090042. Aziz Lamita will be 190-2090-74. Salma Kafi Mayowa, 190-2090-32. Adeba Ambo, Lua Shebi Ndose, 190-2090-9170. Lifti DC Ubey, 190-60-40-70. Lutu Isama Yodeji, 190-2090-4. Alam Shala Sama Yibahe, 190-2090-78. Paderemi Adewale Ebeniza, 190-209-176 My name is Ade Kondisha, the Lord Damiola, match with number 170-209-048 Belo Temitope Gloria, 190-20-1962 Our topic is based on insecurity in Okiabe So we went to the local government and we met with Mr. Um, Yusuf Olusha Gun and Mr. Pastor Amodu Adeshino. So both of them, we asked them questions, we interviewed them, and um, the major thing that we've been able to extract from it is the fact that um, insecurity has been the order of the day in Nigeria, and um, Okiagbe is not immune from it. Generally, the fact that the constitution does not provide for states to have their own police has been the major issue in Nigeria and Okiagbe too being our custody is not immune from it. So we we spoke to uh, Mr. Lushego and uh, Mr. Adeshino. They were they told us that the major insecurity that they are going through in um, in Okiagbe is the kidnapping issue. And aside this kidnapping issue, they have other um, insecurity issues such as the banditry, blog um, burglars 
um, robbery and so on. So um, they told us that aside um, aside the kidnapping being the major one, um, the um, chieftaincy installation is also a major issue as well in OKIB. So we asked them if they have anything they have put in place to curb this insecurity. Then they told us that for the uh, for the chieftaincy issue, they have been able to put some committee together. They, they hold meeting once in a month. They are going to put um, this committee. This committee is referred to as the reconciliation chief, the chief tenancy reconciliation committee. So this committee they meet at least once in a month for meeting. And also the um, in terms of the kidnapping aspect, they said he said that um, the major reason why they've not been able to really curb um, kidnapping in um, Okiagbe is because of the boundary they share with the other states, such as Kogi. They share boundary with them, and this has been the major issue why, when they have been security, when um, people are being kidnapped from Okiagbe, they are being transported to other states. So it was, it's always very hard for them to track um, kidnapping cases. So um, we told us that recently, in December 2nd, Olosho of Osho in Najawa community was kidnapped. And it, we now asked him that, what did they do in trying to retrieve him back to his position? Then he told us that um, they had to hold a meeting on the 6th. And on the 6th when they held this meeting, there were top stakeholders in, in um, top, top stakeholders in security area to, in, the meeting, in the meeting, as well as the Fulani head. So they gave the Fulanese 24 hours to provide the king and truly within 24 hours it was provided and the reason why it was the Fulani is they gave the ultimatum is because they've had histories of Fulani being the the bottom of insecurity in Okagbe and in Nigeria at large so they gave them ultimatum and they provided the king the next day on the 7th of December so um, when we left um, the when we left the local government we went to the Amotekun office in Okiagbe. And when we got there, we met Mr. Umaru. Mr. Umaru told us, we asked Mr. Umaru about um, how they have been able to handle insecurity issues in, um, in Okiagbe. He told us that they have been able to get support from the people and the fact that they are, they, and the fact that most of them are from, most of the personnel in, um, in the Amotekun are from the village. So they know crown and corners of Okiagbe. So it has been easy for them to navigate their way uh, within the Okiagbe and try to curb insecurity issues. But then they now told us that the major uh, problem that they are having in their department is the fact that the police sabotages their efforts. Though he told us that they work in synergy with other in, uh, other security departments in other security bodies in Okiagbe. But then he told us that the police uh, stage, the police body that they sabotage their efforts probably um, by releasing um, culprits. When they arrest culprits, they are not that they, they don't have the power to prosecute, so they send it to um, the police body. So this police body they sabotage their own efforts by by releasing culprits by not by not prosecuting culprits according to the way they're supposed to prosecute them. So um, after asking them, after asking him this series of questions, we, we have been able to deduce that there is no synergy between between the Amotekun and the police cop. So we went to the police station. Then we asked them some questions. When we got there, we met Mr. Cornelius Chukudi, who is the DSP of the police station. Mr. Cornelius was where well, Mr. Cornelius when we got there uh, didn't want to give us information, probably because of security issues. But then. When we asked him some questions, we asked him if there are insecurities, if there are major insecurities that he has been trying to cope within the, within the community. He said since he got to the community, there has not been any insecurity issue. So, um, Mr. Cornelius also made us know that um, there is no insecurity and then he has been trying his best to put everything in place since he has been in the community. So we asked him that what are those things that he has, been, that he has put in place to, to make sure that there are no insecurity issues in the community. He told us that he has put in place the surveillance team, the patrol team, and the roadblock, and the stop and search, uh, the stop and search body to make sure that there are no insecurity in the community. So when we left the police station, we went into the community, we met with some people, um, we spoke with some of the communists, 
like um, some bike men. So these bike men made us know that when that they go through constant robbery in Okiagbe, aside kidnapping that they go through constant robbery, like um, the bikers, the bike men, their bike are being stolen from them. And when their bike are being hijacked from them, when they go to the station to complain, most time they are being threatened by asking them to provide um, so by asking them to provide documents um, that attach to the bike. And when they provide them, they tell them that they are fake or something else. But then they make sure that when they report things, when they report robbery cases, they do, they end up not attending to them how they are supposed to attend to it. So we've, uh, from all this, our research now, we have been able to deduce that um, the three bodies are not working in synergy and there should be some, some check and balance for the for the police corp and for the other in, uh, security body in in the community as well and also we have been in conclusion um, we 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 advising the community and um, the security body in the community to work in synergy so that they will be able to curb insecurity in the community and also we have and also we'll be advising um, the we we'll be advising the security body there that they should not they should work together and also they should not um, they should not make the Amotekun um, a problem to them that since the Amotekun knows the community more they should make Amotekun the police corps should make Amotekun um, their close friends so that they can work together and achieve their goals. Thank you. Victim for the lowest tier of public admission. On the Timothy 190 60 40 43, the government public consultation. We have used a few at the point 190 20 90 29 for education. I'm on June Bar, Alam D 190 Department of Political Science and Education. Call up on the area 190 209 179 Political Science Administration. Political science education 192 <laughs> Michael, 190 604 081. Department of Public Administration. Go. Gabriel, 190 science education. Local government can be defined as the institution of at the grassroots level that is responsible for the management of local affairs of the local people within the locality of a village, a town, or a city. Some of the functions of local government include establishment of cemeteries, issuing of licenses for radio and television, establishment of markets, construction of roads, provision of ball to the local communities. Functions include setting of dispute within the community, giving advice to the local government officials for the development of the locality, and they act as custodians of their culture in their domain. During the colonial era, the Governor General Lord Lugard used a system of indirect rule whereby the chiefs act as the native administrator of their various domain. Some examples include. By the fashion and the honor messi. We also have the uh, we have the
responsible for the sighting of the council red copper in Okia Bay. The, the name was Chief, late Chief was Giwa. Other notable personalities that were responsible for the sighting of the local council red copper in Okia Bay include Chief Asangula, Chief Akonde, and Chief Bamishibe. Surrounded by Eves. Initially, it was called Oki Abebe, but it was changed by the missionary. Oki Abe has four quarters, but originally there were other quarters that were part of it, but only four. Only four agreed to form a community called Oki Abe. Some of the quarters, the four quarters include Afa, Oge. Afa Oge, Ido, Aji. The Afa is controlled by the Ajana Afa, who is a first class king, and the most senior of them all. The name of the Ajana Afa is called Oba Ola Dibuye Pajano. Aji community is headed by the Ewi of Aji, by the, who goes by the name Oba along with Oba Belu. Who is a third class king? Subsequently, subsequently, the payment of salary is based on grade, such as first class king, second class king, and third class king. They are paid from the five percent allocation from the federal government. If the case arises of a regent, she is paid seventy five percent of the king's salary in his absence. Some of the chiefest titles in Okia include Imele, Shaba, Elugebe, Utarisha, and Elikotu. Some of the festivals of Okia include the Lunar Festival, which is taking place in July 7 to 9, the HP Festival, and the Elik Festival, which is done during July season. Personalities, which include the Ashwaju of Akoko Land, State Chief, Rufus Giwa, Honorable, such as BTO, Member Representing House of Red, Akoko Northwest, and other constituents. Thank you. Always a blessing. Please be signing signature 19020 I am Major Musis Uluwashi, Public Administration, 190, I think I let Adishola Emmanuel, Political Science, 919 05 Political Science Education, 19 Public Administration, 19 Political Science Education, 19 Hakim Made, Political Science Education, 19 Jobby, Kalamide, Fumilayo, Political Science Major, 1905 Political Science Major, 1950 Jagri Anthony, Public Administration, 266 Public Administration, 2060-1450. My name is Akebojo Moses Oluwase from the Department of Public Administration, Joint Level, representing 
group one on the sharp topic market market has been known over the years as a place where trade activities were carried out this is a place where buyer and sellers interface and exchange goods for goods and services for services there are many definitions of market but according to allow 1988 he Theoretical adventure asserted that markets are meeting places of consumer, producer, seller, and collectors. This implied to him that market operates consists of both the local and the outsiders. Basically, there are two types of markets. We have consumer markets, we have organizational markets. What is consumer market? Consumer market is a market where consumer buy goods and services directly to personal consumption and what is organizational market this can be described as a market where which consists of individual and organization who purchase products in order in order to convert the further uh, production of other product which components part of supplies so we move forward by asking the question from the both the marketers and the buyers. They let us know that the markets are lacking various uh, problems in terms of security, in terms of environmental sanitation, and they let us know that the low governments are not doing uh, things for the betterment and growth of the markets. So we, move, we later move forward to the low governments to ask them a few questions about the, the, the markets in Akoko Northeast, but we met the Secretary to the low government in the name of Honorable Amuda. The, the secretary let us know that the markets they are doing their uh, their possible best to make the, the markets are well kept, well clean, and have the adequate security in the market, and so on and so forth. So we move further by asking the marketers and the buyers. Yeah. In conclusion, I would like the low governments to conjunction with the states to make provision for the market intervention loan to help the marketers women in order to easy way of doing business. The local government should synergize with the top executive of the marketers women in order to know some of the predicaments of the market women and also for them to come together fashion out way in which things will be going smoothly in the market. And about the cleanness of the market, the local government should try their possible bed to ensure that there is van pan in the market. So we move further to markets in Akoko Northeast. In order to get more details and information about the situation of markets, we about yeah, cut and cut and don't ask. We in a particular sovereign state. It is a legal entity formed with the aim of delivering local and Good day, dear viewers. We are Group 7 and we're here for a presentation. I'll jump to Lock Perry 190 60 40 17. I did go up by Emmy Rufus 190 60 40 20. I'll go by a car of the day 190 05 0 15. I'm a bony and Lua Elizabeth 190 60 40 28. Jen Fabric, I'll go out of the number 190 20 90 47. Fadi Perfumilla, you bet 190 60 40 27. Mobile is on the day 1905030110. Janik can be 1906045252. My command is be 1902090066. Why not to meet up best at 1905030025? Along them so the follow us she 1902090082. We have found any cajules 1902090435. Lonnie Obola Damilola 196047. Zan Faruk of 190210 
and that we say me Michael on ninety two nine on tweet. I did not tell Adele Henry one nine zero sixty forty seventy three. I did so Emmanuel Washago one nine zero five zero three zero two two. Security. A Koko Southwest local government under state Nigeria as a case study. Cost code post two zero eight. Cost tied to local government and urbanization. In Nigeria today, public safety plays a more increasingly important role and takes tax for more and more on the local government. In every democracy state, it can be said that um, security or public safety of the people is part of their fundamental human rights. Since we have given our rights to this government, they are in turn to protect us. So according to thoughts in 2007, according to Matthias in 2011, Leon's and Valence in 2014, it is said that the security of the public is based on three pillars. One, state. Two, local governments. Three, the local population. So because of we are in a democratic state and we have given our rights to the, our leaders, I will infuse the definition of local government into that of democracy. This is to say local government is the government for the people, by the people, and of the, peop of the people. Security, on the other hand, therefore, means protection from harm. It means safety. Akoko Southwest local government in those state Nigeria comprises of several towns. We have Oba, Ikun, Ayegule, Akumba, Akoko, Iwaro, Okao, Okioka also. Now, all of this, um, all of these um, villages and towns have the inhabitants of 239,486 inhabitants according to the census population of 2006. It covered the total land, it covered the land space of 226 kilometers square and it falls under the tropic savanna. This local government area practice different religions. We have traditional Christianity and Islamic religion. We also have the, um, the languages they speak here. We have Pidgin, their dialect, Yoruba, and English language. And their major cause of revenue is farming, and which it, it has various markets, which these um, traders come together to transact and exchange goods and services. We have the Ibaka market and Oka market. Now, the issue of security in these towns can be relatively fair, but without doubt, there are still um, crimes are inevitable. We have local crimes, physical assaults, courtesy, and disputes of land also with breaking and entering. For example, when we visited Ikun local government area, we um, filed question with the security guard in the palace. He said that, and we asked him about the abandoned police station, which we saw before we came to the palace. He said that police station was shot because of lack of manpower. That this um, police station, its headquarters is in Oba. Oba now sent police down to this place, but there is shortage of police, policemen to mount this station. That is why it is shot. He also made an appeal that him in the police, uh, him in the palace, there are two policemen in the palace. But it is not enough because they do take shifts, one during the day and the other at night. One person cannot watch over the whole palace in the night. Also at um, Oka, local government area, we filed question with the um, DPO of police. But before then, we made an ongoing protest and we asked questions, well, why was wrong, what was the cost for alarm? And they said that the policeman, the DPO is corrupt. If police are our friends, Bill should not take that much. And we asked how much. They said about 10,000 and 20,000 to Bill just an individual. Going down to physical assault also, we um in a man is was detained in the police station because of rape so the issue of rape 
That's what we saw about insecurity in Oka local government area. The relationship between the local security and the police department is not fair at all because of corruption. That the DPO take, um, the DPA collects so much amount of money from local people. Before we go to the conclusion, some of this local government area, why intervene them? They say that the Amotecons and the the Amotecons and the um, vigilantes perform more than the policemen. In equal local government, for example, where they have no police there, that the um, Amotecons and um, the Amotecons and the vigilante, when it is nine. They blow an alarm for everyone to enter into their houses. And anyone that is found outside by 10, we face the consequences. We can say this is true because when we were there, it was past 7 and the bike men refused to carry us because they want to go into their houses before um, it will be 10. So, in conclusion, we acknowledge that the challenge of insecurity in Akoko Southwest varies and is complex. So, therefore, varied and complex strategies should be adopted to find a lasting solution to this problem. They all have same problems in all of this local government about security and insecurity. Therefore, good information, good networking is possible and should be adopted for a defense strategy which is necessary to um, eliminate these insecurity challenges. Thank you. We the group 10, we are here for our presentation. Name Fadi Rashida Fumilola, matric number 190209002, Posedro. Alabi Deborah Oluwa, 190604057, public administration. Ibrahim Abuleti for Lamidi, matric number 190503077, political science. Yeya Charity AB, 190CC4078, public administration. Akiobola Orafeli, 2006041199, Public Administration. Akiyele Kemi Sola Estan, 1906074, Public Administration. Okikiela Abisola Mojisola, 1902090006, Political Science and Education. Omole Esta Oluwa Bukola, 1902091007, Political Science Education. Abiyodi John Rawali, 1906040069, Public Administration. I call it all local just one nine zero two zero nine zero five seven process education. You see, Fatima Adiola, political science education one nine zero two zero nine one zero four. One nine zero six zero four zero eight public administration. I didn't buy a thing, one nineteen fifty thirty seventy political science major. Thank you, Maka Kenneth Imani, 1905031014, Politics Science Major. Politics Science Major. Opanli Ademumi Ashake, 1902091070, Political Science Education. Akitu Joye Oluwa Funke Caroline, 1906018, Public Administration. Go last TV now, call at the one nine zero two zero nine one eighty political science education. Adelaide Joseph one nine zero two zero nine zero six five public political science education. We are at Benjamin one nine fifty thirty thirty political science. Of where you are, my man one ninety fifty thirty eighty nine political science major. My name is Fadi Rashida Fumilola. Adeku from Adeku Nigerian University. The, um, our topic is problem of urbanization from the cost post to it, which is the cost tied to local government and urbanization taken by Dr. Adebayo Fasua. First of all, we like to define what is urbanization. Urbanization can be defined as a process where a large number of people congregate or reside in a big city or an urban, urban area. And urbanization includes basic amenities, infrastructure, and the views and the perspectives of the people. I'd like to give another definition of urbanization. Urbanization can be defined as a phenomenon describing the increase and growth of population due to some condition in the society. So now we we'll go to factors that brought about urbanization. 
we should know that every like infrastructure basis are amenities they actually process of urbanization and things are brought about urbanization more well, i would like to talk about and we need to know something that urbanization in Nigeria has been in existence way back before the arrival of the colonial masters. So we'll be talking about the factors of urbanization. One, we have commercialization. What is commercialization? Commercialization is actually the presence of central and open market where goods and services can be bought and exchanged. Another factor that we have is agricultural factors. During, this happened during the times of the colonial era. They tend to go to places where there is the presence of cash crops. Another another factor is availability of basic benefits and services. And, and we know that urban area has basic benefits and benefits, which includes health factors, health benefits, social and a standard and better life. So another another factor that brought about urbanization is employment opportunity. People go to the big city and urban area because of employment opportunities. So now we'll be talking about another factor, which is the diversity of economy. What? Why does many people? We should know that rural area is commonly known for their money polo money polo economy because area like Akumba, Akumba is a is a rural area that has only one one economy that's one of the economy is farming so people goes to urban area because there is diverse of economy there is many economy no going to our point our topic which is the problem of urbanization using a career using a coconut northeast a career as precisely as a case study so what are the problem they faced i first of all like to list the problem of urbanization one increase in primates there is pressure on the existing social amenities another problem is population explosion or increase in population and we have um, um, environmental challenges and hazard and another problem is poor housing and poor housing or improper housing and one of the so i would like to divine one of it so another another um i would like to divine the problem one is increasing crime rate in an urban area like lagos or ikare when we went during our interview with the chairman, the chairman made note of something. He said he car before in their days, in the olden days, before someone would try to venture on a journey, it will have one or two persons that is going to meet in an urban area. But now due to due to people thinking they can get job and population explosion, people can go to places they didn't know anybody and they will cause prayer on the existing basic amenities there. And on another problem is problem of unemployment due to people. They felt that urban area is where there is some respected and amicable job. Due to the joblessness and idleness, they tend to do anything to get job. And there is, there is prayer on the job available for them. So another problem that we have is environmental challenges and hazards. What is environmental challenges and hazards? Environmental issues has been classified into many various or in diverse categories. One, we have sanitation problem like improper drainage due to the population people does not know where to dispose their waste or their waste their death and their disposal of waste is improper so they can just drop wedges on the drainage and another one we have is slum what is slums in an urban area we, we do have places called slum slum are like the local places in, in urban area using lagos as a case study place like ghetto or Places that are not that developed, they are called slums. And people, they tend to go into prostitution, drugs, and those. And those are one of the problems of, of urbanization. So, and, so, due to our interview that we have with the secretary of Ikare local government, named Honorable Amuso Abiola, in his statement, he said another problem of urbanization is that there is loss of manpower in areas like the rural area people tend to leave their community in search of green and high standard of living in urban area leaving those rural area in the dispersion that they lose manpower there's no people to take care actually there are some jobs in rural area but if people tend to leave them and they will not do it so there is loss of manpower and another problem is that there is prayer on the basic amenity for example in a, in a place where there, 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 there is need to supply water for 1,000 people. But due to the increase and explosion, explosion in population, there, there is no circulation of those basic amenities that has been in existence. So another problem that we'll be talking about is um, the problem of poor leadership. In um, Mr. Wale in Ikare local government 
said that another problem of urbanization due to a research and interview that we carried out he said that another problem is poor leadership poor leadership in one aspect in in an um in an urban area people tend to do the, the, the way they are they are not they feel that they are not under anybody in an urban or like the rural area where people would like to check on someone else to check on what yeah, they are doing yeah. but in an urban set a mass they setting can. it's not like that they tend to do the way they are they, they tend to do anything so i think this i would like to come to conclusion on problem of valorization thank you political science one nine zero five zero three zero zero six Public administration. Public administration. I do not share you Sunday. One nine zero five zero three zero eight two. Please I do one nine zero education. Jim Abraham Alamde, Political Science, 190 50 30 16. Omani Richard Milei, 190 60 40 5, Public Administration. I can know you what about the Political Science Education, 190 209 124. I think I must tell her, I think 190 90 Political Science Education. We are the editor of the 190 503 019 Political Science. I'll have to see Sunday. Public admin 190 60 40 65. I'll have to see you on the next day. I'll have to see you on the next day. I'll have to see you on the next day. I'll have to see you on the Adelaide Adela Mel, one nine zero two zero nine one three three, political science education. Suleiman is to allow me public administration, so under sixty forty ninety five. I in your rabbit, Daniela, one nine zero six zero four zero four two, public administration. Uluwalu system die, political science, one ninety fifty thirty twenty nine. I'm looking to stand one nine zero five zero three zero eight one political science. Political me endurance one nine zero zero two zero nine zero two five political science education. A student of particular just university, Akumba Akoko, on this state manager. I'm presenting my group, group three, on the topic administration and community development. First of all, what is an administration? Administration is the organization and the use of men and material to achieve common objectives. Local government is an administration. They are the third size of government that represent the people at the grassroots. They provide basic amenities such as the markets, the street lights, the balls to help the people at the grassroots. We were assigned by one of our lecturers to one of the local governments close to Akumba. We used the local, local, local government. I and my group members we went on a trip, we searched on the local government. The road that leads to the local government has portables. Enter the building, the environment of the local government secretary. We notice some treatments. The environment is um, not conducive. We saw the buses as the day, I think for like many years, without repairing. We took a walk around the old place to observe some treatments. And we met some workers under the palm tree, dripping palm oil, or treatments. This is not supposed to be so. So we went to the people and then we requested the teacher to the office. So the teacher and then we took some food pictures in the teacher. This is the teacher here. We took a picture of 
Digital Routine and we are asking the question about the pothole that leads to this routine. And he said, because of lack of funds that the federal government and the state government allocate to them, there is not enough for them to cover up their project for that time. So we took a trip to the market. This is the market at Okuloka. We went to the market, we interviewed some women there. They said they used to pay 2500 for maintenance of the market. Imagine this is a market. Let's say rain is falling and these women are out there. Can they be able to sell their market? No. The local government does not provide anything for them or store. So please store anything. Yeah, they are paying 2500 This is the water of the market. Assuming rain is falling now, this is how the water will look like. We went to the hospital. That is the health care center. Yes. This is the healthcare center and the environment is conducive. But well, unfortunately, a patient will confirm that. Why? Because most of the nurses they are putting on drugs, on duties. They had plenty of patients, but less staff. Noticing that the girl, the patient there was out of breath, they were supposed to provide us with me by they were shouting at me. Damn it, damn it, until she was confirmed dead. We are not able to ask for that question as everyone there will cry. We went to the school. This is an African church that built this particular school for so many years. Now the local government has taken over, yet they were not able to provide anything for the children. When we got there, we saw the physics, chemistry, and biology lab. The laboratory was outdated, like it's of no use. We interviewed the vice principal. And he said he has been on seat for five years. He submitted letters constantly and even went to the secretary. The secretary is closer to the school, like 20 minutes ago. And yet the local government has not taken a trip to check out the schools. They only use the school feed for campaign, rally to their own advantage and mess up the school. We took some pictures outside the building of the secretary. This is the local government secretary. And we took one of the videos. We couldn't take a lot of pictures, but at least we took something. In my own conclusion, we observed that the local government does not perform their duties well to the people at the grassroots. They are to serve the people. Yes, we know that because of political interference of the federal and the state government, not um, providing much funds for the local government at the grassroots, so as for them to, you know, do their work at the grassroots. So, my own observation, I prefer that the federal and the state government should allocate much more funds because the people at the grass are the ones to suffer. You have to do good markets, good roads, and the children in school, they need good chairs and labor. And you as a local government, it is your duty to perform those sites to them. Thanks.
I'm presenting my group, group three, on the topic administration and community development. First of all, what is an administration? Administration is an organization and the use of men and material to achieve common objectives. Local government is an administration. They are the third size of government that represent the people at the grassroots. They provide basic amenities such as the markets, the street lights, the balls to help the people at the grassroots. We are assigned by one of our lecturers to one of the local governments close to Akumba. We use the local local government. I and my group members we went on a trip we sat on the local government. The road that leads to the local government has portholes. Enter the building, the environment of the local government secretary. We notice some few things. The environment is um, not conducive. We saw the buses at the day, I think for like many years, without repairing. We took a walk around the old place to observe some few things. And we met some workers under the palm tree, drinking palm one on duties. This is not supposed to be so. So we went inside the building and then we passed for the chairman. This is not a So the attic chairman came. We took some food pictures with the attic chairman. This is the attic chairman here. We took a picture with him and we asked him the question about the pothole that leads to this church. And he said, because of lack of fund that the federal government and the state government allocate to them, there is not enough for them to cover up their project for that time. So we took a trip to the market. This is the market at Okreoka. We went to the market, we interviewed some women there. They said they used to pay 2500 for maintenance of the market. Imagine this is a market. Let's say rain is falling and these women are out there. Can they be able to sell their market? No. Local government doesn't provide anything for them or store to so please store anything. Yeah, they are paying two thousand five hundred. This is the water of the market. Assuming when it's falling now, this is how the water will look like. We went to the hospital. That's the health care center. Yes, this is the health care center, and the environment is conducive. But well, unfortunately, a patient will confirm dead. Right? Because most of the nurses there. On duties. They had plenty of patients, but less staff. Noticing that the girl, the patient there was out of breath. They were supposed to provide us to Meanwhile, they were shouting at me, damn it, damn it, until she was confirmed dead. We were not able to ask for that question as everyone there were crying. We went to the school. This is an African church that blew this particular school for so many years. Now the local government has taken over, yet they were not able to provide anything for the children. When we got there, we saw the physics, chemistry and biology lab. The laboratory was outdated, like it's of no use. We interviewed the vice principal there, and he said he has been on seat for five years. He submitted letters constantly and even went to the secretary. The secretary is closer to the school, like 20 minutes ago, and yet the local government has not taken a trip to check out the schools. They only use the school feed for campaign, rally to their own advantage and mess up the school. We took some pictures outside the building of the secretary. This is the local government secretary. And we took one of the buildings. We couldn't take a lot of pictures, but at least we took something. In my own conclusion, we observe that the local government does not perform their duties well to the people at the grassroots. They are to serve the people. Yes, we know that because of political interference of the federal and the state government, not um, providing much fund for the local government at the grassroots, so as for them to, you know, do their work at the grassroots. So, my own observation, I prefer that the federal and the state government allocate much more fun because the people at the grass that don't want to suffer you have to do good markets good roads and the children in school they need good chairs and lab and you as local government it is your duty to perform those sites to them thanks
how environmental factors can impact personal health Environmental health advocacy is a top priority in the public health field as, a, as environmental factors continue to adversely affect individual and population health. For example, consider the looming threat of a climate change. Environment health research says that climate change may result in change disease pattern, making communities susceptible to different illness. In other words, industries that are irresponsible with manufacturing and waste disposal may be poisoning the natural world, impacting our physical well-being. Environmental health as a community health concern. Environmental health isn't just a matter of individual awareness. It's also a matter of community well-being. Slippery put, the condition in and around our homes, schools, playground and workplace can have a major impact on our families and neighbors. For example, factors such as pollution and litter can make residents less inclined to go outside for exercise and recreation, potentially making the entire community more prone to disease. Environmental health resources. To find out about the importance of environmental health, take a look at the following resources. We have the WHO, which is World Health Organization, they deal with environmental health. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, they are National Center for Environmental Health. Now let's look into the environmental factors that affect health. A number of specific environmental issues can impact human health and wellness. That issues include chemical pollution, air pollution, climate change, disease causing microbes, lack of of assets or to health care, poor infrastructure and poor water quality. Let's look into the meaning of local government. Local government is the generic term for the lowest tiers of public administration within a particular sovereign state. Local government is the public administration of towns, cities, counties and districts. It includes both county and municipal government structures. The first local government was established in the year 1840, well before the establishment of some colonial government. 170 years later, local government continues to meet the needs of local communities, but they perform a much greater role and provide vastly evaded range of service. Local governments have the general power to provide for the good governance of the people in their districts. In another word, local government is the government below the state's government. It deals with the issues and subjects of the village or town. It is a system of pattern of delegating power and responsibility by the central government to lower agency. The central government is the official face of a country or state, while local government is the lower tiers in the administrative system. Origin of Akokonot is local government. Akokonot State is a local government area in Odo State, Nigeria. It is one of the 18 serving local government counties of the state. Akokonot State is in control of public administration in Akokonot State's local government area. And its council is being headed by the chairman. Its headquarters is in the town of Ikare, which consists of 16 districts or town, namely Okela, Igbede, Ishe. Okon Ilepa Okoja Yame Okebe Isakumi Ekon Onimo Okeru Okeru Okeruwa Odoruwa Odeyare Odo Ikon. It has an area of 372 kilometers square. It has an area of 372 kilometers square and a population of 175,409 as the 2006 census. The postal code of the area is 342. It is a developing area. According to our research, the position of the environment before the establishment of the local government. The local government was established in the year 1976. Before the local government was established, that, that is the local government, uh, the local, um, Akoko North East local government. There was only one local government in the whole of Akoko, and it was known as Akoko North local government. Having its headquarters in Akoko, Ikare Akoko. Thereafter, other local governments were created. We have the Akoko North East, Akoko North West, 
Akoko Southeast and Akoko Southwest. The position of the environment before the establishment of the local government is nothing to write home about, and the state government cannot manage the environment because of the complexity of the environment. And it becomes something so pathetic and serious, and the people never got it right until the establishment of the local government. In face of the local government, the local government establishment on the development of, uh, of the environment. The local government affects the development of the environment positively in the sense that there is now funds being allocated to the uh, to Department of Environmental, Environmental directly from the local government allocation. Then this environment monthly sanitation, the, uh, this environmental monthly sanitation is carried out on a monthly basis. If not for the creation of the local government, it won't have been. Because of the establishment of the local government, on a monthly basis, Karia Kokonia have assurance of getting 300 thousand monthly at the level of department so in order to maintain the cleanliness of the local government environment the position of health unit before the local government creation the position was in a shambles the health unit was nothing but nothing to write me about but the establishment of the local government has given the health its purpose or orig its supposed original shape because the establishment things were not in order no enough manpower and adequate facilities now let's look, I would like us to look at the position of the health unit after the establishment of the local government. It was after the establishment of the local government that the people can now be boastful of their facilities and others. They now have one health facility per political ward, meaning that the local government, the development of the local government. The local government is affecting the development both positively and negatively. The local government is not attributable to any ministry, any local government, or any part staff. And now let's look into the challenges facing the health sector in the local government. There's a lot of challenges facing the health sector, especially in the career Koko North East local government. They have the land power shortage, we have, they have insufficient personnel, insufficient equipment, lack of autonomy, and la low power supply. Impact of state local, uh, state government and development of the local government held in Akoko North East. The entire funds used at the health center are from international donors. And Nigeria is one of the countries among more than 99 countries that fund United Nations. At the level of United Nations, they have the UNICEF, WHO, and other international organizations. The funds each members, each member countries are donating is called counterpart funding. It is from this pool of fund that this international organization used to finance the health care system. At the state level, the state is also contributing their own quarters too. The state government supplies and makes provisions for health facilities. They build and equip the facilities. The other concerns of the local government is to build stores or market shops or market shops, public toilets, and also to maintain the facilities. The state government also serve to serve the health centers. The effects of the environment to the environment to the development of the local government. The environment affects our health and that of the local government. How do they affect? Those who dump refuse inside the drainage when rainfall, it leads to flooding. When people refuse to adhere to sensitization on cleanliness, it may lead to cholera we eventually affect the local government. And lastly, advice towards the relationship between the environment and the local government. Since everyone is component of environment, everyone needs to be very careful of the way we live, that is what we eat, what we drink, when we do these things. The environment is very sensitive to the extent that it has limits and levels. For instance, if you are releasing the air pollution into the environment, the environment will absorb it, but it has limit at which the environment can so once it reaches the limit the environment will start sending it back and do not forget that and do not forget that we are the, we are the receiving hand many people are fond of dumping refuse into the public drainage system which leads to flood when it is raining and when then we will see that human being will be at the receiving end as it will lead to destruction of lives and properties let us try as much as possible to make our environment healthy a world living environment finally we all should not allow our environment to affect us because we are always at the receiving end we will all bear the consequences thank you